What's going on guys, your boy Mason, we're back with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the brand new PC launcher changes, and how you guys are going to be able to download the game on JP, KR, or Global, so you guys have it available for your country that you play, or if you want to play another version of the game, I'll be explaining everything you have to know in this video. Before we actually hop into the video though, make sure to subscribe to your boy Amazing, we are on the road to the 50,000 subscribers, I definitely do appreciate all the love and support guys, so hit that like button, subscribe, and with that out of the way, let's hop in, and let's actually go Go over the preliminary notice here of the pc launch changes and also how you guys are going to be able to download the game so right here guys this is the notice on the global forms right here talking about the pc launcher and the changes for it so what we're going to do is we're going to go over this forum post and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys the way to actually download it and then also a way to actually have a different version of the game on your launcher as well so right here guys says greeting knights the seven daily sins grand cross pc launcher will be changed to provide better service please check the below for the information so the preliminary notice of the pc launcher changes the period will be on the 318 update maintenance so again i'm recording this before the actual update is available so as you guys watch this video you'll pretty much get an idea of what you want to do after the update does drop or if you're watching this after the update's been already released then you guys will know exactly what to do so for the uh, details here guys after the maintenance the game can be played on the new pc launcher instead of the existing one the current pc launcher will not be usable after the 318 maintenance so that's something you definitely want to make sure you have uh pretty much uninstalled after that point guys uninstall the old pc launcher because you're not going to be able to use that and we're gonna have to you know use the updated one right here the play now button is uh intermittently uh exposed when running the existing launcher but the gameplay is not possible through it so please download the new pc launcher using uh to use it so the new launcher can be downloaded from the pre-announcement pc download link after the 318 maintenance uh right here guys so i'm gonna have this linked in the description it actually did pull up the website so this is what it's gonna kind of look like guys so this is the global pc client website but remember this will not work until after the 318 maintenance so i just want to clarify that for you guys that might be wondering oh can i like pre-install it you have to wait till after the maintenance before you're going to be able to do this so uh, if we actually go back to the preliminary notice here this is some important stuff here guys so following the change of the pc launcher the schedule for pc transfer in korea japan and global regions is as follows after the 318 update maintenance korea japan and global build will be accessible in the new launcher so you guys will have access to all three of the versions after the 318 update maintenance but one thing to take into account is that after the 41 update maintenance it will be changed to expose only the versions corresponding to your country's ip address if you have already installed the launcher of another zone you'll be able to access it after the 41 maintenance so pretty much what they're saying is that if you have a jp version if you have a korean version and you want to play those as as well you're gonna have to make sure that you have already logged into those accounts and that you are in that location obviously that pretty much they're they're trying to you know nail down on the people that are playing it not in the actual region and so uh there's gonna be a way we're actually be uh, gonna be able to do it in this video guys all right so the main way you're gonna be able to do it if you want to download krjp first things first is you're gonna have to actually go to the jp or kr uh download link so i have the links in the description guys this is what the website looks like so this is the uh, jp one and this is the kr one respectively so you guys will be able to go to these links and download the launcher one thing to specify though guys is that you're not going to be able to launch the launcher on that version of the game unless you have a vpn installed when downloading the actual uh you know seven daily since client so what you guys are going to want to do is i have linked in the description here a video from uh happy buddha here so uh this video right here is uh a video pretty much explaining how to do it for seven nights two and uh seven nights two is a game that netmarble actually did also uh introduce and so this is going to be a way you guys can get a vpn and the vpn link he actually has here is from soft tether i don't know if you guys can fully see it here let me zoom out of my uh display completely so you guys can kind of see here uh but soft tether vpn you can use this link right here guys and uh make sure you have all this uh the done pretty much uh in advance because you want to make sure that you know when you're downloading the version of choice you have to be in that region so you have to make sure again if you are downloading it from uh 4kr or jp you have to make sure that you have your vpn set to that location as you download the the actual product okay so that's going to be very very important when installing the game okay so that's one thing to take into account now if you were just going to download global um as long as you download it right after the maintenance guys you're going to be completely 
completely fine. You're not going to have any issues downloading it. All you would do is go to the link here for the PC client. Uh, and I'm going to have this obviously linked in the description and you just click download and it's going to download the game. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what the launcher actually looks like. So you guys can get an idea of how to actually go about it once you've installed the launcher. All right, guys. So this is the launcher right here, the brand new Netmarble launcher beta. And this is what it's going to look like once you download your respective version. So again, if you are trying to download the JP or Korean version, make sure that you have a VPN at the moment you install the launcher, because if you don't have a VPN, it's actually not going to let you have access to those versions. It's going to say you're not living in those countries and you're not going to be able to have access to those versions. Now, if you want to play multiple versions on the launcher, you're going to have to make sure that you do download it from the location that you live in. Another thing to mention about this launcher, guys, is it's actually a Netmarble launcher and not necessarily just a Grand Cross launcher itself, guys. You'll have access to be able to download the other version or other games that Netmarble actually does, uh, you know, produce for PC clients. So you have like Nino Kuni Worlds, you have King of Fighters All Stars, you have like A3 Still Alive, you know, King of Fighters Arena, stuff like that. You will see all these games here, even Seven Nights 2 that I mentioned with the um, the video here from Happy Buddha. You like you'll be able to download these games as well on this launcher so it's going to be like a universal launcher here that lets you have access to these things uh on on the actual launcher itself and so when we actually do click the play button here guys it's actually going to load us into grand cross itself so what i'm going to do is i'm actually i'm actually going to launch the game and i'll show you guys what it looks like when we're actually in there and how you're actually going to log in using your information and all that good stuff right there so Alright guys, so this is the actual startup of the actual game itself when you load into Grand Cross. Now, depending on the version, obviously, it's going to depend on your sync code and your password and all that. What I'm going to do on the screen here is I'm going to actually block the screen um, to obviously not show my login information for my JP account. But depending on your login, guys, you're going to grab your sync code from your phone account. You're going to put it in here as the first link at the top. The second link is going to ask for your password. You're going to put your password in from the uh, sync code that you actually set up. So you're going to have your sync code and your password from the actual mobile version of the game. You're going to put that into the PC client right here, and it's actually going to log you in. You can also use your email as well. If you click the second tab as well, guys, so the top tab right here on the second tab uh, will have you access for your email. So depending on which one, uh, whichever one you want to log in with, that's fine. And then you can also save your sync code so that if you want to log in, uh, you know, again in the future, you will have access to that as well so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna log in here guys and i'll show you what the game actually looks like once we're loaded in all right guys so we just loaded into the game here now this is what it's gonna look like when you load up grand cross and this is the pc version guys i mean this is what it looks like this is what it looks like in all my videos whenever i record you can do anything in the game the only thing that the pc client does hold you back from doing is going to be purchasing packs so if you're someone that loves to play free to play on a game then you know this is a good way to do it my jp free to play account is completely free to play i've only really played it on pc client and so this is going to be the way that you guys can actually play it man and so this is what i would like to do um you know if if you want to like maybe have a free to play jp but you also want to play global grand cross as well so this is what it looks like guys and you can literally do anything in the game uh other than obviously buying packs and you should be good so that's pretty much the tutorial right there guys on how to actually download the pc version of the game again i will be linking happy buddha's video in the description so you guys have access to the soft tether vpn and also the seven nights two launcher as well if you want to you know trial seven nights two whatever the case um i will have that available also with all the other links as well so the global download we have the jp download we also have the kr download as well i'm going to link all these in the description so if you guys depending on the version want to download a different version then you will be able to do that remember guys to follow these steps in this video that i'm going to uh, that i'm going to link in the description as well so that you know exactly what you're doing with the vpn and you have your right uh you know like vpn settings because i actually do use surfshark personally so I, I didn't actually test this vpn out myself but i know from what uh happy buddha was uh was posting in here that it actually should work so there you guys go man that's pretty much the tutorial right there on how to download the grand cross pc client let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i hope you guys do enjoy and hopefully this helped you out to actually download the game and uh, be able to play it on the pc version so i hope you guys do enjoy uh see you guys in the next one man peace out and have a good rest of your day guys see you later man